Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Today I'm going to go over some tips and tricks on the new Pixel 3a. Let's jump right in. The first one, this is the first thing I do with every single smartphone that I get. Always go to the settings, go to the display, I'm going to go to advanced, and I always change the screen timeout. Normally it's going to be set for about 30 seconds, and the screen will go off really quickly. It can be a little annoying, so I like to set it for about at least two minutes, just so your screen isn't constantly going off so quickly. It kind of gives you a little bit of time where you don't have to be touching the phone all the time. All right, guys, so that's, I call that tip zero because that's kind of a duh, but some people forget to do it, so I wanted to always just start with that one. The next one is gonna be a, a cool little shortcut uh, to put your phone on vibrate. So normally I would swipe down and you know, if your uh, sound option is somewhere at the top here, which actually on this phone it's not, normally you can just hit the like sound button at the top here. Most Android phones have it up there to put it on uh, vibrate. However, this one doesn't have it up there, but just by holding the phone and just pressing the volume up or down, It'll bring up your sound menu and you can just tap right here and it'll automatically put the phone on vibrate. So again, just volume up. There it is. You can actually tap it again to put it on sound off. So this is sound. First one for vibrate. One more time for total silence. Um, and then press again, turn it back on. And obviously this is your uh, volume control right here for your sound as well. So, um, we can also obviously hit the settings here to get to our full sound menu. Um, I kind of like it being on the volume button versus at the top. Uh, it kind of allows you to get to it uh, easier with one hand versus having to swipe all the way up. So that's just a little tip just to get to your um, vibrate and silent and your sound controls quicker uh, with one hand. All right, guys, our next tip is going to be um, how to enable the new dark mode. Some of you guys have uh, probably seen that uh, Google has added a dark mode now to help conserve with battery, and it just looks cool as well. So to, to turn on dark mode, you just simply swipe down from the top, and you're going to turn on the power saving option. So just tap on the or, or power saving or battery saver. Go ahead and tap on that. It will automatically turn on... Uh, dark mode now all your menus are gonna look dark versus light and that is gonna help save some of your battery life So kind of works twofold if you go to the settings the settings is still in white um, But your menu at the top here is gonna be uh, dark So when you're done go ahead and turn it off and that'll light right back up again All right, our next tip is gonna be how to get that battery percentage on your home screen. I don't know about you guys, but I love to be able to see my battery percentage in the upper right corner. And right now we can only see just the battery icon. So I really don't know what percent my phone is on right now. And I don't know, I just love to see the percentage up there um, so I don't get caught and all of a sudden the battery has drained lower than I thought. So all you're gonna do is swipe down from the top here and instead of tapping the battery saver mode, just go ahead and hold down on it. That's gonna take you right to the battery section and um, just turn on battery percent on the status bar. Now at the very top here, it'll show you right next to the battery um, what percent the phone is actually on. So you can actually, you know, plan out. If it's getting low, make sure you charge. If not, you're good to go, but it's nice to see the exact number. So there's that. All right guys, our next little tip is gonna be in the camera. So we open up our camera app here. And basically, what you're gonna do is twist the phone twice in order to flip to the front camera. So just go like this, and it will automatically switch to the front camera. And then, and that'll make it switch to the back camera. So just like that. Easy way to do it. Um, or you can obviously reach down here and do it manually. But, you know, kind of cool to have a different option and um, a gesture option at that. All right, moving on. So, um, another cool feature just by squeezing the side of the phone, you do activate your Google Assistant. So, let me give it a squeeze. It will automatically launch your assistant and then you can say whatever you want to have it 
uh, do a Google search or you can have it open particular apps on the phone so I can squeeze it open Instagram So kind of cool. I can open any app that I want just by squeezing the phone and saying it, you know. Open text messages. Opening messages. So I definitely love that feature. Uh, definitely a cool shortcut to not only Google things, but to just get to different parts on the phone. You can even ask it to go to a specific section of the settings if you want. Like you can get very specific and uh, it'll do it. So great way to use that squeeze to launch voice assistant feature. Our next tip is going to be uh, how to launch your camera from any screen on the phone. So you might be in your, um, I don't know, you might be in Google Chrome and you're saying, hey, I want to take a picture of something. Well, go ahead and press that power button twice. It'll automatically launch the camera for you. Even if your screen is off, hit it twice. It'll wake up the phone and take you right to the camera. So just a really cool way to launch your camera right uh, from the power button. There's just two taps and no matter what screen you're on, even if it's off, it will launch the camera for you. All right guys, for our next little trick, we're gonna show you how to customize the keyboard and do a few specific things. So the first thing is you'll notice right here we have an emoji button, but it's you have to hold down on the comma button first, and then you have to go ahead and swipe up to it after. So hold, and then you move up, and that's how you get to your emoji section, which is a little frustrating. So um, you can make the emojis a dedicated key just by going here, the three dots, or excuse me, go to the settings, go to preferences, and you're gonna enable show emoji in symbol keyboard and also show emoji switch key. Now it will have a dedicated button on the keyboard. So you just tap here and it will take you right to your emoji section. So um, I definitely like that better if you're like anyone, most people today, you use a lot of emojis and so you want to be able to get to that quickly. So that's the first thing. The next thing is um, I like to add another row for numbers just because it also makes typing easier. So go back to those preferences and you're going to enable number row. And now we'll have that extra row of numbers, which to me uh, makes a lot of sense. Now also with that, I want to show you how to customize the keyboard. If you notice my keyboard is black and it has the little blue uh, search button in the bottom right. And that's not how it comes. It comes white and it doesn't have the spacing. So to customize the keyboard, you're going to hit here, go to the, go to the, the three dots here and tap on uh, theme. And there are actually a bunch of themes that are built into the phone. So I have that one enabled, but you can pick from any one of these nine. If you hit show more, I believe there's a few more options here. So you have a lot of different colors to choose from and you have even more advanced options. So you have like landscape, uh, backdrops, color gradients. You can really get really creative with the keyboard. Let me go ahead and try this blue. I'm a little curious. So there's that. And then you can also um, this comes turned off. I turned it on. So key borders. So it actually shows the individual keys and the spacing. Uh, I feel like it's a little bit easier to type when you can see the separation. So I turned that on. Um, and just like that, you know, I've got a nicer, more vibrant keyboard. So this is a really cool way for you to customize the phone and make it more unique to how you like it. I believe there's also an option there where you can put your own picture as the background as well. So in case you have a special picture you like, you can make that the backdrop of the keyboard as well. All right, we have two more things to show you and we are wrapping up some really fun things you can do with the keyboard aside from the customizing. So let's go ahead and go here, go back to the settings, go down to glide typing. And here you're gonna basically enable all these features. So uh, enable glide typing, which is to input a word by sliding through the letters, show gesture trail, 
enable gesture delete, delete words by sliding left from the delete key. So check this out. Let me go ahead and show you what this is exactly. So let's say I'm typing a word. Hello. I am. Now if I, from the delete key, if I glide left, I can delete the whole phrase in one swoop. So, and then you can get it back here if you change your mind. But again, you start from the delete key and just glide left. Or you can go slower and control it and say, I want only want to delete these two, not the whole thing. So that's an advanced feature there. Hello, I am Joe. And you can also glide through your text from the space bar. So I'm just gonna go left and right. And maybe if I made a mistake, I can go ahead and go here. Let's fix that. And then I'm gonna glide here. And I am Joe. Just like that, you're able to glide through and edit your text as well. And I wanna say, my auto, my night light actually just came on, um, which uh, it basically adjusts the colors so that it's easier on your eyes at nighttime. So anyway, guys, this has been tips and tricks on the new Pixel 3a. Um, wanted to show you guys some cool things you can do. Do me a favor, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if these are some new things that you didn't know about or if you knew all of them, just put, I knew them all. And guess what? I'll go ahead and give it a, a like because hey, you're amazing. But I know a lot of people don't know these tips, so I always love to do this video. It's just educate the people who are a little bit newer to the device. Again, I hope you did find it helpful. Go ahead and like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and make sure you also follow us on Instagram at H2 Tech Videos for monthly giveaways and a bunch of other cool stuff. Also, we have a new site called Tech Made Easy. On the next page, you'll see a green circle. If you can click on that, subscribe to our new site. We have a bunch of awesome new content that we post on that site, so definitely show some love there. We appreciate you watching again. Take care and have a good one.